Topics like this get me heated and I'm very argumentative and there are some bitches in my school who just don't understand the meaning of feminism. Hello there, girly. So, you're very argumentative, eh? Well, let's see you handle criticism. I'm coming for you. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. Hi fam, it's Tess, and um, today's video is going to be a little rant, because I know I haven't ranted with you in a while, and I know what you're saying, the title of this video was probably to be like, what most girls think, but this topic can go for men too, so. Let me just start the video off with, if you wear a men's t-shirt to school, you're literally just running to piss off a girl or a guy who thinks she's on this topic too. That's good. We're glad that we're pissing you feminists off. Because you deserve it. I wish I had a men his t-shirt right now. So that way I could piss you off. But either way, you're still a bitch. Oh no! You called me a bitch! Whatever shall I do? Basically what feminism is, it's a bunch of group of guys or girls if you like feminism. Is basically saying where are all the guys at because I think feminism is taking over guys. Okay, I wanna know where the fuck do you even get this idea? I heard some crazy ones from many feminists, but yours probably takes the fucking keg. Where did you get this ideology? Who told you about the venomous? Did you actually look up the venomous Twitter account? Did you actually do any fucking research? But that's not true at all. Of course it's not true. The venomous Twitter account is satire. It is literally mocking feminism. That's what it does. It is trying to show the hypocrisy within the feminist community. The fact that you fail to grasp something as simple as looking up the Twitter account and just looking at the description, the word satire, the fact that you fail to even do that comes to shove that you know absolutely nothing on this topic. So, of course, a feminist would argue about double standards and that feminism just mostly focuses on like women's rights, like how they're like more superior men, but no, feminism means men and women are both equal. Feminism does focus on mostly women's rights, i.e. the term feminism. <sighs> and of course you're going to deny that feminism is not about female superiority. I've done many, many videos about this shit before. <sighs> I'm not going to do this again. Basically, feminism is also against sexism, which is what we need in the world, because there's a lot of that in the world too. Yes, there is sexism in the world. But the feminists tend to ignore the sexism directed towards men. Mainly because the feminists are sexist towards men. The reason we have feminism is because of this sexism in the world and all these double standards. For example, if a guy sleeps with so many people, he is not judged. But if a girl sleeps with so many people, she's known as a whore, hoe, or slut. That's because it's completely different. It's far more difficult for a man to get, you know, sleep around with a bunch of girls than a woman sleeping ab around with a bunch of men. Men have to be the ones who have to do all the work just to sleep with one girl. You know, very few men could just, you know, get some girl to just suck on his dick for absolutely free just by looking at her. But for a woman? <laughs> you know how easy it is for her to get laid? All you gotta do is just spread your legs open and say, Hey boys, I'm fucking open! And boys will come to you. Go ahead! I dare you to try it out, you slut! Or better yet, get a sex change operation and try to sleep with some girl. Let's say you get laid within a week. I dare you! 
see, see, feminism would try and stop that, it would stop the sexism and all the double standards of people. Just because it has the name feminine in it doesn't mean it's just for girls. You don't have to go near the fucking camera! It all also helps with guys. Like, it helps them come to school with makeup on and they wouldn't care because girls and guys are equal. Well, if you're one of those flamboyant boys, I suppose, but, uh, I exactly how is feminism helping? Guys can wear makeup, then girls can wear makeup, or the other way around, you know what I mean? And it also helps if you want to wear just in public. Girls can wear just in public, so can you guys. And girls can wear a suit in public, so can you guys. Uh, uh, so, out of all the things that, all the examples that you could have picked, you know, the unfair divorce settlements and the, um, let's see, the double standards within society, about how men are perpetrated as the um, pedophile or the abuser. No, no, no. You're, you're going to focus on that one particular part, that beauty. You know, men wearing heels, men wearing makeup. Even though this, you know, happened years ago. Many years ago. Men cross-dressing even before um, feminism. This is your strongest point on how feminism is helping men. Fuck you. Feminism helps that so we're not judged. Guys can take out their shirts off and show their nipples and why can't girls? Girls can do that too. See, this is what feminism helps in the world. So if you're a guy or a girl, basically says we don't need feminism in the world, you're just saying you want to bring it back to like the 1990s where girls had no rights whatsoever and all they did was cook and clean in which guys still believe that happens but no, guys can do that too. See, feminism people, we need feminism. I cannot believe I have to explain this again. Just because you do not identify as a feminist and say that we do not need feminism in the world does not mean that you want fem women to be treated like shit. You're simply, you're simply saying that you do refuse to be a part of a dogmatic ideology that tells men that it's their fault that there is rape in the world. It is their responsibility to help women achieve their goals. You understand that Feminism does not own the concept of equality. So if you're a guy and you think that feminism is stupid, I feel bad for your wife. What if my wife is happy that I oppose feminism? What if my wife respects me because I oppose feminism? What if my wife sees that feminism does not own the concept of equality? That we, she sees me as her equal as I see her as my equal? What then, you moron? If you're a girl who thinks that, I feel bad for you. I'm just gonna put that out there. You do you, boo. If you wanna go back and live like the 1800s and have no rights whatsoever, you do you. Why are you talking like some sort of ghetto girl? Yo, do not tell me that the feminism doesn't mean equality. I have read the fucking dictionary, you little bitch. But that's it's pretty stupid if you ask me. So, uh, of, of course that's incredibly stupid. You're basically saying that feminism, you know, owns the concept of equality. You know, if, if you're not a feminist, you're basically in support on how women should be treated as nothing more as mere property. You know, what's egalitarianism? I don't know! It doesn't even really exist! You know, egalitarianism? What the fuck is that? Oh yeah, feminism is something we need in the world, and if you disagree, you're wrong, and you can go suck my weed, because I'm pretty sure half the population agrees with me. And you don't get to speak on on behalf of half of the population, okay? Not, not even a small part of the population, okay? You don't speak out for everyone, you fucking imbecile. If what you say is true, that you are very argumentive, then you shouldn't be like, ha ha, I automatically win! <laughs> My position is right! 10% <laughs> agree with you. 10% of what? The world? 
yeah, I had an asshole in my drama class who was like, um, I don't remember the strip school and me, I flipped shit. In other words, you're a dangerous human being. Well, I should go because I'm very heated, so I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Or like this video if you liked it. Comment down below if you agree. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You just said, comment down below if you agree. As if saying that you do not want any disagreement within your own goddamn comments. Holy fucking shit. You're supposed to be argumentative, right? So why are you not defending your position? Why do you not want to hear any opposition whatsoever? The answer is simple. Because you're so goddamn full of yourself. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.